Hi, Margaret. Hi, Judith. How are you all doing? Hi, Barbara. So, I got some goodies. Maybe I'll wait for a couple more people to uh, sign in. Unless maybe they're not going to. Hi, Julie. There they come. Hi, Sean, Marlene, and Kim. Yeah, goodies, goodies, goodies from the new catalog. So I went ahead and I stamped these. They're in the same order. Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis. Tahitian Tide, we needed one like this, and Parakeet Party, which kind of reminds me of our old Lime. Yeah, yeah. So then I got the matching. I didn't get the other markers yet, but I did get these. So I figured, oh, and see, I put my labels on them. So we'll do a... Oh, yeah, we needed this one. Dark and a light. I'll get rid of those because I don't need the bags anymore. The dark. And the light. And it was funny, I was putting the labels on and I wasn't quite paying attention. <laughs> So I had them, I don't know, I had them mixed up all over on here. <laughs> the dark. And the light. You know what I just want to do, though? Um, what is it? I just want to put the poppy parade near it. This is the light. All right, this is a little bit more orangey than that. Uh, the light. I'm doing it with, whoop, with the bigger end. Ooh. And this is just... A little lighter than the Knight of Navy. Oh, and then, of course, these I'm using tonight. Because, yeah, I beat feet and got a couple cards done. Oh. All right, so those I need. These I'm going to put aside. Where do you get your labels for the markers? I have a brother P-Touch. Yeah, it comes in handy for a lot. A lot of stuff. All right, put that on the floor. Put these on the floor. Look, I already smudged. Those are for the cards. Okay, so papers, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a little lighter, I think, than what our tempting um, turquoise used to be. I'm liking it. I should have had, you know, pulled out some comparisons, but you're lucky you guys getting a card. Okay, then these are the papers that I got. Now, I am doing a paper share. I just haven't put out the info yet. Maybe that'll be my job for tomorrow. So, whoops. So, this is Pretty Prints. Ooh. 
Ooh. Very pretty. Ooh, I love it. See, I haven't looked at these yet. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love. Can't wait to order the rest. Ooh, look at that. I swear it like I have not looked at these yet. This one is called Perfectly Penciled. I'm not going to take them totally out because you know me. I'll have a mess. I have a mess anyway. Oh, yeah. You know me. I love my black and whites. This is going to have to be included in one of my uh, classes to go. Ooh, can color those. Yeah. I'm liking it. All right. This one is Hues of Happiness. Hues. Hues. Hi, Charlotte, Laura, Ann, Patricia, Gloria, Marlene, Mary, Kathy, Laura, Ann. That's as high as I can see. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. That looks familiar. Oh, I love these. You know, if I pull it out, I'll have a mess. Oh, yeah, there's two. I thought I got gypped. Whoops. Knock the camera. Knock the camera. So this one is brush stroke. This is a specialty paper. Oh, see, so, yeah, you can see it. So it's got all these brush strokes. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Oops. This has to stay. Oh. If you put that sticky near the paper, you know what happens. Rip. Okay. This one is Sun Prints. So that was Sun Prints. Moo! Piggies. This one is He's the Man. All right, so. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to close that so it doesn't get stuck on anything. Oh, some of these pop out. That's interesting. 
Mm. Yes, these are very manly. Ties. What's past these? Whoa. I could see I'm going to have to like pluck them out and put them in a little little box. Oh, look at this plaid. Betty, 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 nice. Okay. Then there is this. This is in color glimmer paper. I didn't mean to rip the label. I like to keep it in my thing. So. So there's four sheets of the, oh, that one's pretty. Purple. Love them. Okay, so then there's Sweet Songbirds, and that comes with a punch. It's your special day, so happy you're here. You've got something to celebrate. A little bird told me a little note of thanks. I like the little notes. Very cute. Okay, then I may as well do this one. I use this one tonight. So this is Fern 3D embossing folder. I think you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. It goes through really nice too. Uh, then these are the in color opal rounds. They're kind of clear. I like them a lot. Oh, this looks like candy buttons. This is the matte decorative dots, the in color. There must be more up there. Yeah, the pink. I like them. I like them. Okay, then, Wisteria Wishes, and I used Hang In There tonight. Let's see what comes with that. Yeah, the opal rounds are gorgeous. Tall, um, yeah, kind of. Well, not the little ones. They're, they're not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so that, that cuts that, these cut that, and then there's like extra, and that's a branch, I suppose. I suppose. Wait, what? Oh, okay, this one. I thought I was seeing like little pieces, and I'm like, no more little pieces. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Oh, I had to have this one. Brood for you. I owe you one or several. Another round for your birthday. Oh, L, yes. <laughs> I don't know what extra they could put in here. Garbage. 
Kaboosh. Oh, okay, so it cuts. It'll cut that, plus you can, like, do your own. Ooh, vellum. Mmm. That. Cuts that. That's good. I like that. Oh, so you can do, like, the inside. I got it. I got it in my head now. I got it. Sometimes there's dyes that I don't get. I know, you, ha you have to have it. And I never got the whiskey one. I don't know why, but it's still in the catalog. I mean, Nature's Prints. This is a, a rubber set. I like this print. Hello there. I like it. I'm busy. It's a notification. Okay, natural petal prints. Ta da! Oh. So there's a wreath label. Hmm. Mm hmm. So each one of these has a die and then splatters. which I'll be borrowing out of that for other things. Get back in there. And then sending smiles. I know I could have done this uh, in advance. But this is a true unboxing, kind of, sorta. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see what we got. Ooh. All right. So descending. And then each one of these. And then extra little things. And these always come in handy. But that's great to be able to cut those out. Yes, it is. Do a bunch in advance and then you have them too. You put them in a little box and then you forget where you put the box. <laughs> or you forget you did it. I'm thinking of getting like pockets and put them in a book so I can separate them better. That's what I'm thinking. Like the old baseball card type thing. Yeah. Okay. So these, and then last but not least is wild and sweet. And that's what I grabbed to do some cards with. So I have three cards. Let's see how uh, fast I can, Come on, focus. There we go. So that one I colored. I mean, I colored a little bit of all of them, but this one I did a little more. So let's get at it. I did not put the dimensions because they're really easy. I mean, four by five and a quarter layer. And then this is your, um, I used three of the, the dies like in graduated sizes. So it was like this one, the next size, and then up. So we'll do them in that order. Yes, we will. 
Okay. So this one is the little koala. So I stamped him in soft suede. And I think they're all hymns. At least that's what I'm going to call them. They're hymns. Okay. So I'm going to go a little higher with this one than I did the first time. It's probably about the same. Okay, so this is what it looks like uncolored. This is what it looks like on gray. I can bring this down a little bit. Now in black, you could probably just, you know, leave it. And then, oh my gosh, like I, I made a mistake, but it turned out to be okay. So like I learned something that I'm going to share. Okay, so this one's in brown. So I just took, I'm going to do this one a little different. Like I was trying to be like cool and, you know, put in lines, but it, it's not necessary. So I'm just going to take the light soft suede. And I'm going to go in between the little toes. And once you get that part, the rest was easy. Maybe I need to color in the nails. <laughs> Give me some nail polish. You know I don't like that side. So just go like around his head. Told you they were all hymns. Him. And then down here. So because you see that ink through it, like you don't have to make yourself crazy. But I tell you guys that all the time. Okay, then I took, and I'll use the dark, the dark green. Like I was trying to be cool and, you know, do shading, and I went, like, why? Whoops. Of course, I just went out of the lines. So I might have wanted that little pointy tip for this. I might have. So I'm going to do a little green there. Whoops, add a line. Anytime you hear an oops, you know what it is. Oops. <laughs> There's one up there. I forgot. Okay, and then we're just going to do light gray. And the only place I didn't do was that white around the eye. Oops, I just did it. And I don't want the ink to like absorb like too fast in, in too fast. So... You want to move along. You don't want to stay in one spot too much or too long. I'll get it straight eventually. I think I'll leave that white there too. Did I cut? I did color in his mouth. I'll decide in a moment. So I think like the gray and the brown, there's going to be some white spots in here because I'm 
going a little faster than I did. Mm. Okay, on your mark, it's set, go. It was too white. Okay. Oops. We forgot this little spot of him. All right, that one's ready to put together. Almost. So I did the hang in there from the other set. Now the other ones, don't ask me what sets they came out of. They've been sitting on my desk forever. And I will continue to use them every chance I get. Okay, so this one is hang in there. And when you stamp it with the black, make sure you get it. So you can still see it, even though it's like partly, partly there, there. A bubble. I love bubbles. So I've been having a lot of trouble sleeping. And my husband, good old Bob, gave me gummies the good gummies so i just take a half of a gummy last night i forgot and then i didn't feel like getting up out of bed to come back and get it so last time i looked at the clock it was three in the morning i was like whoa And of course, you could put some gems on here. I didn't because I just wanted to give you samples. And I will take pictures. So this is the one like I, I put lines in. I mean, you, you can see you can see a difference, but like it's it's no biggie. I didn't do it to that one. I only did it to that one. I know. I'm weird. Okay. So let me put those over there. Then we're going to do this one. So this is what I learned. You know how I always said you can heat set this and use it like for watercoloring and you can't use it for blends but yes you can yes you can yes you can all right so let me get this little raccoon guy i was so excited because the this is so fine line and like when i do black and white you know like if there's um oh like a real intricate plant or something I like to use this if I'm doing black and white because it really does get the fine, the fine print. It's fine. So now I'm going to heat set it.
I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to use these again because I have them. Because I can. So it's bright green grass, green grass. And I'm just making lines, except I'm going up into him, like where the grass goes. Oops, I missed. But that doesn't matter. So now I'm just doing like some squiggles. Because it no matter. And then the light. And I'm just kind of filling in a little bit. And where I didn't get what goes up, get it with the light. Ta-da! Okay, now this one on a piece of black. But did you see? None of it smeared. Um, yeah. Couldn't decide which to use. Decisions, decisions. I should have done one one way and one the other. And you can, you know, pop this other one up, but I didn't on any of them because I was designing fast. Fast and easy. But I love. Yes, Helen, I am alive. I'm alive. Oh, I guess I should have stamped. Doesn't matter. This is when if you make a mistake, you just put something over it. Okay, so don't ask me where this is from. It might even be, um, yeah, you know. But I just have it here all the time on my desk. And it's a hello, friend. So there's card number two. It's so cute. Cute as a button. Gail. I swear I didn't take the gummy yet. Okay, so. Here is. There's the right side. I mean, most of it gets covered up in on this card, but. Come on, lift. But we'll. You can still see it. I know it's underneath, so I am a happy camper. You just see the edges. But that way I could show you. Okay, so now this one is the panda. And he got stamped in black, too. This is almost ready to be re-inked. Bye, golly.
Okay. Now, of course, I put this on a little crooked. Please be perfect. I like it. Okay, so we need these green things again. So I'm just going to use the dark. Look, I'm using the point. Very lightly. Because it's very teeny spaces. And a little bit of green here. And good green there. Here's some green. There's some green. And oops. Oops again. See, I'm just the average stamper. Now that was a big oops. I can't see. Oh, got a couple more over here. Okay. So I kind of think, I mean, it even looks good like that. But, but. I took light crumb cake. Yes, I'm going to use the big side. And also, not spending a lot of time. Because you don't want it like really soaking in. Now, I'm going to go right over this. Oh, I should have stamped him up a little higher. Oops. It was another oops. Okay, then I came back with the soft suede and made that hole. I actually did it the opposite, but I like it that way. So now let's see if this is going to work. It might just. So I don't know what set this is out of. It's also been sitting here. So I know when I get them all together, it'll, you know, turn up to where it goes. But it's sitting here and I use it occasionally. So I'm going to put that, I hope, right there. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope. Yes. It worked. Okay. Do you know? I didn't heat set that, did I? Did I heat set that? I don't think I heat set that. Why was I ever afraid to use the lens? I'm shocked. Well, I'm lucky because this ink stays wet. So it is a good idea to still heat set it. Maybe that's what happened the first time I used it. It was still wet. I don't know. Let me 
smeared all over the place. Now I was almost going to add like a little color to him, but then I thought it would, it would get like too dark. I might play with it one day and use the light in the dark, but I like the, the highlight, so I wouldn't want to mess that up. So there is card number and yeah, it could, they could all use a little bit of, you know, gems. And I'll take a picture of those, these, they'll be, they'll be on my page and, um, I'll put it here on YouTube. Let me put this in there. Wow. My desk isn't that messed up either. I'm in shock. Chakra. I'm in chakra. Yes, tonight will be a gummy so I could sleep. And there they are. I don't know what else I'll come up with again to make more cards with these. Different, you know, different papers, like change the whole thing. Yeah, like you don't even need like to get crazy with major backgrounds. I did all that in 45 minutes. Are you guys proud of me? Like, what? Okay, so now, if Alice is here, show yourself. Say something, because I didn't look up and see you. So, you know, uh, I don't want to forget you. Hey, Mo, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Fran, Andy, Sean, Patricia, Mary, Charlotte. <laughs> it's up further. Okay, so um, Sunday. Oh, there's a story for Sunday. I am meeting a friend who lives in Nebraska. Um, like, where are we going? It's near Sarasota, and it's like, you know, an island off of Sarasota. They're, they're on a five-day vacation starting tomorrow. So Sunday, we are meeting them. So... Yeah, I'm not going to be here Sunday, but I might do some spur of the something on Monday night and then again on Wednesday. So, yeah. So don't look for me on Sunday because mm, unless I get things going and then it might be a Saturday, but I'll put out a, you know, an announcement. And um, yeah, that's it. So everybody have a happy Easter, Passover. Um, whatever else you celebrate and I'll see you when I see ya. I love y'all. Thanks.